Hey everyone, I'm back. I went and checked the mail and did my security run. All right, bug, go on now. Uh, swap pants. <laughs> Got rid of the ratty short. Sorry, y'all. Uh, Cause it's fixing to start cooling off here. It's about uh, four o'clock somewhere, maybe a little bit before. Uh, brought the food. It's over there. Brought the Glock 19 with the 17 mag in it. Uh, brought my little fire kit that I made out of the free tackle box that I got. I got this tackle box for free when my sister and them were cleaning out their basement. They were having some work done. They were going to throw it in the trash because it had like rust in the bottom where they had hooks had rusted or whatever. I throwed some WD-40 in there and wiped it out. All the rust came right out. So, uh, Thank you, Jason. Penny, Pinch, and Pepper. That's where most of these supplies came from. Uh, I got a bunch of char cloths up here. These are the ones he made for me. Some natural material, some jute twine. The reason why this one is in the box is because my good one's in my bag. I'll have to get it out and use it today. Fat wood down here. All three of these sections have fat wood. These are the little uh, fire tabs that Jason made. These are the little uh, beeswax things. So, got it all in one little kit. Got a free box to put it in. It just says jigs on it. I couldn't get that off, but the rust came right out. So anyway, my little kit. Fire a kit. Play around with that. I did bring a digging instrument. Small one. Uh, you don't ever know. I may have to make a cat hole after a while. But I am going to start working on my fire pit, if y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can see or not, but... Look at tough-ass ground right here. And once I get through the grass, it should be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. I recorded some footage earlier in the tent that I'm probably going to have to delete <laughs> because of the shorts I was wearing. <laughs> so, a little behind the scenes funny on that one. Probably should have brought my show up shovel, but I didn't. I figured we'd go with it with this. There we go. No wonder we got a big. Look at that. Ripper, why don't you go freight train somewhere else, buddy? fire pit, but I do need to break some of this mess up in here. Roots and stuff. Alright, we're working on it, y'all. get to the dirt. Once I get to the dirt it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry there, it's like a box. I 
I hope y'all enjoy these videos. Uh, you may not learn a whole bunch, but I hope you enjoy them. It would just make it all worthwhile, you know. So if you're enjoying this series of videos, or if I somehow get it all stitched together into one video, get down in the comments and let me know, hey, didn't, maybe I didn't learn nothing, but you know what? It was fun. I enjoyed it. That would, uh, that'll help. It's my hatchet. I can do what I want to with it. I don't want to hear it. I know how to put an edge back on it. Give y'all all something to hate about. If you're uh, camping somewhere where there's a lot of leaf litter and pine straw, you need to make sure you rake back at least six feet from where you're making your fire pit, y'all. You don't be the you don't want to be nobody wants to be the guy that uh, you know set the freaking forest on fire and burn down people's houses and you know nobody wants to be that guy. This, uh, we're in kind of in the middle of a, a bush hog lane here. Dad bush hogged this a couple of months ago. Well, a couple of weeks ago. We're in pretty close proximity to the creek and everything else. I think that'd be good enough. Vines everywhere down here in Alabama. You can't hardly cut through nothing without coming across roots and vines and that type of thing. Alright, I think maybe now I will try to do a feather stick. Perhaps. Good to get out and work on skills and that type of thing. I'm going to take this. This is a super, super duper dry piece of wood, y'all. Yes, I just did that with a mora. And it ain't a full thing either. These are pretty tough knives. There we go. Now, let me kind of turn around. As I understand it, it's good to start off with like a square, you know, edge. Let me see if I can show you all. Something like that, kind of round, kind of half round or whatever. And the idea is, as you make your feathers, you're going to turn your stick a little bit as you're doing it. You're going to take this like half corner edge right here, and you'll be rolling it down, making it round when you make your uh, 
butter sticks. First time I've tried this, doing it on videotape. Usually never a good thing. We're gonna try it today. I'm gonna push this thing down here in the ground and get y'all what you can see. <clears throat> Come on, man. Might want to start with a straight end, see? That end right there has got kind of a tricky place in it. I'm going to start down here. It might be it's a little bit straighter. Or maybe. Well, this is a crooked piece, too. Try to do it with a straight piece if you can. That would probably make it easier. This thing should dry. Most of the pieces are falling off. Thanks to the grass. thing to turn that stick and uh, when you get a good curl going then you turn it and you do it again I'm having a lousy job lousy time at doing this maybe some greener wood would probably do better but then again you don't really want green wood yeah they keep falling off well, that's a bust. But it's something I can work on while I'm out here. That's the whole point. Alright. Get this stuff in the sheath. There it goes. Let me wipe it off first. Alright. Now we're going to do this. I'm nowhere near ready for a fire right now, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, that's why I broke that in half anyway. Trying to start off with a little platform here to keep it up above the bottom so we can get good airflow. Anyhow, uh, I'm gonna work on my skill some, y'all. It ain't it ain't really time for fire yet. I'll bring you back when it's time or whatever. I will uh, need to check my food, make sure I ain't bust my eggs for in the morning. There's my two liter of water that I found on the trail. Move sign. Did my eggs make it? Well, they made it. Well, that's got a little crack in it. Oh well, I think it'll work. Eggs for breakfast in the morning. So what is my favorite camping snack? 
raisins. I like raisins on the go. Pretty nutritious for you. Of course, I brought all my meds for uh, tonight and in the morning in an old vitamin bottle. A couple of cliff bars. I had a few cookies left in the in this thing. I'll probably eat those much on those tonight while I'm sitting around the campfire enjoying nature. Put that water bottle over there so it looks like the food's gonna be in good deal. Alright, I'm gonna work on my feather sticking some more. We'll uh come back later on. Farmer's own trip.